Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and they're still here, manners and respect. Now today, or on today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I don't know how many people know this, or I don't know any, how many people will embrace it, but embrace it. It is something that is really nutritious. It has something that we, it's a back then thing. From when I was going to school, it is bulgur wheat. This is something that I love, 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 love. And I could go, could go on with the word love. I love bulgur from a child growing up. We used to get it in at school. You know, I think the, the Jamaican government will provide it for you know the schools and then we would get our lunches and stuff so this is something that i love it is really nutritious so on today's episode of the jamaican cooking journey as i said before i'm going to share with you how i prepare some seasoned or a little season spiced bulgur wheat okay what am i gonna i'm gonna do now i'm gonna put it in this and i'm gonna give it a rinse as how you do your rice but just a little rinse and must soon come back okay now i give it a little rinse i don't know how other people do it it's more like rice but in the wheat form so i just give it a small rinse what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna put a little water enough water to cover it like this until it just, it's just enough and i'm gonna leave it there for another 10 to 15 minutes in that water i'm gonna also cover it right there right on over here i've got a, my pot this is the pot that i'll be preparing it into so i've got it there so I'm going to melt in that pot there now. A little butter. I want it to have some nice taste. So I'm going to be melting a little butter. And if you don't want to melt your butter, you could use some olive oil. You could use whatever oil you want to use. Okay? As I melt my butter, I'm just going to be putting a little garlic in there. I'm going to get my flame up a bit. A little garlic right down in there. And I'm going to be getting a few pieces of green scallion. And I'm going to be swirling it around slightly, a sort, slightly, Lord, what is happening today? Sauteed off in this butter. We are looking the flavor. So we are going to be sauteing off our scallions and our garlic in this butter. Please be reminded that if you don't pay attention, it will burn. Worse, you're using butter, the butter will let it burn faster than any oil, okay? And the scallions and the garlic will burn, so you got to pay attention. I'm going to be sauteing the off and return to you. Masoon, come. Okay, now we are back. And this is how it looks. I've got a piece of fresh thyme, and I'm going to be just breaking it up, putting it in there. And also, I've got a little chopped bell peppers this is yellow if you have some red you are orange you could put it with it it will be more colorful in the end okay so this is what it looks like in the pot so what i'm going to be doing at this point i'm going to be turning my flame off covering my little seasonings that i sauteed in that butter and i'm going to be leaving this as i said 10 to 15 minutes and when we return you're going to see where we're going next soon come Okay, now family, we are back and what I want you to look at is to look at how the wheat has absorbed most of the water. Okay, now we are going to be going right over here. I'm going to um, revamp my heat and I'm going to be turning this all over in my little sauteed seasonings and I'll add that. So this is what I'll be doing right here. We're going to get all the of that out, but I'm going to be now, look at me here. You don't want to have your stove too high. You want to mix it thoroughly, let all those little seasonings 
get all incorporated in there. And then I'm just gonna put a little tip because this thing does go with a lot of water as rice. So I'm just gonna be putting a little tip bit of water in here just to get out the remainder of the wheat, which is so precious. And then too, we're gonna taste because we need a little extra salt. So what I'm gonna do before I salt, remember I use the butter to saute. So, and of course I know I had needed a little salt. So I'm gonna put about a half of a teaspoon of salt in there. Get my heat up a little below, a little above me, um, low. Not fully medium, but between medium and low. If you know what I mean, okay, family? So look at me here. This is what I have here. And on that very almost to low eat, I'm going to be covering this. And another 15 minutes time will return. And then you'll see my finished product. My soon come. Okay, now family, we are right back. And I want you to look right at something. If you look, you'll see the steam that is coming out of the pot right there. So we're going to go right in now. This is after like 15 minutes. You treat it as your rice, but remember, you, you don't use as much liquid as the rice. Okay? So look at this. So we have it right in there. Shoot them up on this. And you have, just, just as your rice, this more like your rice and peas. So you want to remove your thyme now. Look at that. You notice that the, um... Just like you have, it's not green, okay? Look at this. You notice? So you can turn it off. Look at it. Look at it. So you have your nice little, you know, your nice little um, seasonings all cooked in there. Don't do as I do right here. All time cook. If you're not an experienced cook, don't do like what I just did. Look at me here. This is it. And if, let me tell you something. If you cook it on too much of an I eat, it will burn just like rice. So this is how you do it. So let us go now, dish up some, and when we return, we'll have the finished product. I'm gonna eat some funa because this is something that I love so dear to my heart. Musun come. Okay, now family, we are back, and this is our finished product. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate, and most of all to your stomach, it is seasoned bulgur wheat. Please do enjoy. Now this is. I know you're gonna ask me this is just like rice but it's like we it is it is it is wheat so you treat it just like rice this is this is beautiful with cornmeal dumpling and some curry chicken stew chicken fish you name the protein of your choice but it is really good with stew chicken brown stew chicken and curry chicken and also a cornmeal dumpling please do enjoy you can introduce this to your family table as opposed to everyday white rice and so on. So look at me here. So remember, I did tell you that if you have red bell pepper and orange, you could put some in there to make it more colorful. Can, don't put tomatoes. Don't put tomatoes. Put your bell peppers. Don't go too crazy on it though, you know? So you would have that, you know, a little more pretty. I love this. I will just have this without any protein. Okay, <laughs> how much I love it. If you do love it, wow, it is so nice with the thyme and that little sauteed seasonings and stuff. If you do, and if you have ever prepared it, tell me how do you do it. If you have not, if you know about it, and this has helped you to 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 want to prepare it, let me know. And when you do, just let me know about it. Tell somebody and let somebody else bring this to their table. It can bring to your Thanksgiving, it can bring to your Christmas dinner table, as opposed to this plain white rice every time. Some people want to move away from white rice. I still eat white rice, but I eat it like in between. So, if you have enjoyed this video, remember to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey, and make sure that when you subscribe, you hit the notification bell. And make sure you leave your comments below, principal comments. Remember, family, YouTube is moving in a different direction. We don't know what is going to be happening. Let us try to continue keeping it clean right on over here in order for you to get this information, to get all these nice cooking videos. 
okay and remember that our paypal donation is um there we have got zell we're taking orders for cake through zell and all of that debbie from donga yard bless no stress